Today we're using the King Gambit team that hit rank 3 on Pokemon Showdown. Shout out to Agency is owned for passing the team. It'll be on my website, PokeMD.com. We're playing my boy PDT. I don't think he knows this is my account, but if y'all do enjoy this video, make sure you let me know by leaving a like and also subscribe to the channel. I'm on my way to that 400 channel, uploading Pokemon, 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 Pokemon. I can't even talk. Scarlet and Violet content every single day. Definitely a giant threat in this uh, this damn great Tusk, but we're going to start off with Glamora. Um, as it essentially just gives me, well, I kind of want to poison this, but it's not really the end of the world. I'm just going to go for a spike. If they hit me, I'm good. Uh, I have no idea what this Tyranitar is. Could be a salt vest on this team, considering it's the Chiyu answer, but it also could be rocks. But I feel like Great Tusk is the rocks. What is my Terra type? I'm Terra type Ghost. Hmm. If I go Ghost, I'm going Ghost. If I go Ghost, I can actually hit Great Tusk and knock it out, and that will really open up, that will really, really, really open up my, uh, my King Gambit endgame, which I'm thinking can win. So I'm gonna Terra Ghost here and go for the Energy Ball. Looks like they're Assault Vests, as they were able to tank that very well. Oh, they're not, they're Leftovers, just tank that. That's natural damage? Okay, interesting. Uh, and we'll set up a Spike here as Corviknight comes out. Uh, and I'm going to click Spike again because they should expect my Golden Go to want to come out. So this will give me T-Spike. Exactly. So uh, basically, I just got up three layers. Oh, I didn't take Hazards. No. That's not what we'd like to see, really. But we can bring out Roaring Moon now on the Dark Pulse. And just throw off a nice little Bandit Crunch as PDT ends up staying in to go for Willow. Hmm. I mean, it freaking worked out, I guess, right? That was sick, Willow. Whatever. Gonna crunch again into this demon. I want to make plays that don't allow Pokemon to come in. But I think I always have to go Golden Go anyway. I mean, I'm on a Balloon, but it doesn't really make a difference. We just don't want him to defog. Uh, we really just don't want him to defog. Chiyu, this... I think Boots Chiyu is actually really nasty. I don't want to U-turn. Eh. I don't care if they stay in. I would rather threaten them offensively by bringing out Golden Go and just throw off a Shadow Ball. They don't really have a switch in. And even though they could bring out Chiyu again, like this Chiyu is basically going to be worn down. So this is like the last time it can come in on me. Uh, granted, they do get a kill here. But I can still revenge kill them. Like my Cal, uh, my Katal, Cal Tal Cleave King Gam is looking nasty as hell. So we'll bring out Iron Valiant here. Gonna go for Thunderbolt because it hits Corviknight if they want to make that play for some good damage. Should also, yep, it would also knock out Chiyu, obviously. Beautiful. And I kind of want to anticipate them to Terra here to try and defog. I'm gonna go Golden Go. Let's see. They do get fully paralyzed. See, if I had stayed in just Thunderbolt, they died, and then I think I just won anyway. But whatever. <laughs> I'll take the full para. Just go for another Shadow Ball. I'm surprised PDT wouldn't, uh, unless they're thinking they can just win with their Iron Valiant, which I think is fair. But as long as I keep this guy weak and I'm good, and Tyranitar being that low is super, super strong for me as well, especially because I do have a great Tusk that comes in very easily. This Corviknight comes out. Make the Golden Go play. Anyway, they're going to go Chi Yu, right? If they get the U-turn off. Uh, had I gotten up Rockstar, I don't think it actually wins me the game, but Flamethrower or Dark Pulse. Uh, Flame is very, very safe versus my team. Do I want to keep my Spin Blocker versus Great Tusk? No, I don't think I can. But the Sand Terms are really wearing down Chiyu, so I'm, I'm still in a really good position, especially because this guy, like I said, this guy has absolutely no switchings. Literally no switchings. So I Moonblasted there because I, I thought maybe they might try and pivot into their uh, Dragapult, but... We'll take that. Dragapult comes out now. Shadow Ball is annoying if they want to go for it. Willow could be annoying too. Shadow Ball is the scariest thing they could go for, right? I'll make the Great Tusk play. As they flame. And they are choice specs. Jesus, it did so much damage. Rocks up don't do much for me. But I, think, I still think Knock is the play just in case they don't get a roll. Exactly. So I end up getting the kill on Pult, which is beautiful. Mm. Considering I think they're just going to U-turn here. Even if they don't keep a hazard, I'm okay at this point. Especially because, I mean, I'm, I'm getting very lucky with the paras there. But uh, they should U-turn this turn. 
Yeah, it worked out for me anyway because Chiyu is going to come out and then I'll be able to bring out my Iron Valley and get a kill right after. And I do still have my King Gambit. Whew, this game is really down to the wire. Yeah, Thunderbolt's always the... No, I don't, I don't have Thunderbolt. I'm saying Moonblast is free. I didn't realize how low Corviknight was. So we get our kill there. This Boots Chiyu is really getting its mileage versus me, dude. Corvi comes out. I'll literally lose. You know what? There's a chance they get paralyzed. I'll lose to Chiyu. I no, I won't. I have King Gambit. I'm going to say, I can literally force them to defog if they want to. I'm okay with that. Yeah. That's completely fine because I'm pretty sure I can beat this. This basically guarantees I get to keep my mod. So this is, this is fine. Also, they have to be booster energy to be a threat. And even then, it's not a guaranteed kill versus me, so... Hmm. I think the play is hard, King Gambit. Oh, there's Spirit Break. Okay, good, 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 good. Good to know, good to know, good to know. Um, I think I just get the chip with Sucker Punch, so that way King Gambit can knock him out guaranteed, but I'm pretty sure King Gambit knocks him out regardless. So, I'm a sucker here. Did absolutely nothing as they CC to knock me out. We bring out Golden Go and we click Make It Rain, which is a guaranteed kill whether they change forms or not. They're not calm mine because their spirit break was that. Make Like I said, Make It Rain was a guaranteed kill no matter what they did there. That's why I, I'm modest max special attack. Didn't matter if they terrestrialized. And then, oof, all the way down to the wire, Iron Valiant coming in at the end. And we're going to finish them off with a Moonblast and that's game. Crazy game. Definitely a bunch of paras as well that made it uh, come that way, but let's go ahead and look for another game. All right, we got a game versus a Sun team. Crazy looking Sun team, to be honest. Uh, I love my King Gambit in this. Even though they have like these two easy resists, it's just gonna be three resists. It's gonna be really good, uh, I think, versus Skull Villain, which is very important. Also, I got Protosynthesis on this guy and a Choice Band, so I'm really happy about that. Elite Torkoal, very, very, very easy uh, Mortal Spin for me. There's zero reason you should stay in with Torkoal here. They should go Espeon, and I wanna get the chip on that. Uh, the poison damage, excuse me, racking up, especially if it is dual screens. Though I don't even know if it's dual screens, to be honest. It could be something with Weather Ball and Terra, Fire, because I've seen that before for King Gambit. Basically, I don't think you should ever stay in here. But you know what? Actually, Earth Power is just better all around. What am I even thinking about? If they go Roaring Moon, I'll just hit it with the attack after. Like, that's not a big deal. I think that... Yeah, I should be in a good spot regardless of what they do here. Yeah, what am I even thinking about? Why, why would I predict this turn when, when I get... They have no Earth Power Resist. And had an Eject Button too. And they had a Eject Button too. It's completely fine. So this is even better for me, right? So we wasted a Eject Button. And we don't have to care at all. Mr. Great Tusk comes out. I really want T-Spike up in this game, so I'm going to Terrastalize here. Just because they can't wrap it's been first. If they want to try to go for it. Basically, like I said, I really, 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 really want T-Spike up in this game. Yeah. And I mean, this worked out for me because I got rid of one of the main answers for King Gambit. So I really, like I said, wanted them T-Spike up in this game. If they have Weather Ball, they have Weather Ball at this point. I don't care. They suck up. Weather Ball only can kill me because I'm special defensive. And we'll just go for uh, Kaltau Cleave. Thank you for telling me how to use it or how to pronounce it. They do get the para on me, which is very scary. <laughs> para is actually very scary because I need this thing to check Skull Villain later. Hard Glamora, that way they can't get up any hazards. Ah, do I value Spike more than Earth Power damage? No, I don't, actually. Earth Power damage is way better for me because they die here. Yeah, and, and they have only two turns of sun. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Should be a free Roaring Moon, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. It was a free Roaring Moon. You just click that proto synthesis, Dragon Claw. Only Scarf Overheat would knock me out. Or Terra Blast Scarf Fighting. Damn, bro, give me a chance. Let me play this game. Uh, however, I'm pretty sure Moonblast into... I, I, I'm pretty sure this guy just sleeps. Like, actually. No freaking way I die to this. Knowing their Scarf, yeah. This uh, Iron Valley should just sleep. 
and then we can just yeah they have nothing that comes in because skull villain takes uh, doesn't take two they're smart to sack roaring moon there very smart to sack roaring moon it's not sun boosted anymore do i lose to chi use fire move if it kills great tusk i do actually i think i have the moon blast and hope i live oh yep i definitely live now We've done it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Go ahead and close combat here. And then we just uh, Moonblast. Uh, I think Great Tusk lived because it's Scarf. So I'm definitely going to the Scarf Flamethrower from uh, from full. and can knock him out with Earthquake. But nah, I don't even have to test that. Moonblast that boy. Let's go. Little goat. All right. Go and look for another one. Our opponent has a, a crush on Pineco. I don't know how I feel about the nickname. <laughs> I don't know if it's hot. It's a cool looking Pokemon, don't get me wrong. It's, it, I don't know if it's hot, though. Pinko? Hot? If it's exploding, I don't I don't know. I don't know about that. Anyway, Roaring Moon looks good here. Golden Goal on the Balloon looks really strong here, especially if they're just double hazard Whirlwind, though a lot of them are Ruination, or just Taunt, uh, and they can't touch it. Gotta be real careful. I could see Iron Valiant being decent late game, especially because I have Shadow Ball and Thunderbolt. Just gotta be smart versus the uh, Corvi leads and stuff. Get up a spike here as they go for earthquake. Kind of think their choice ban. Uh, either way, great tusk is always my play, right? Then we just knock. If they Terra, oh, okay, they're U-turn earthquake, but they're 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 U-turn earthquake, but they're no. Maybe they're heavy duty boots. Let's get up stealth rock here. Yep, expect them to U-turn. So I got some beautiful damage on them too because I think they die to quite a few number of my attacks. And we get all this damage on this. Beautiful. So Mr. Specs comes out. I don't want to go Golden Go here. I'm assuming this is Specs. I'm pretty sure my Booster Energy Mon doesn't care though. I think I sacked Lamora. Because she could call neutralizing gas so I can defog in peace again. <laughs> well, Shadow Ball here just in case they go Skeledurge. Get a nasty crit on them as well. But I mean, obviously I two shot them, so it didn't really matter. We could follow it up with a, a Moon Blast there. So those are giant, giant thread, just straight up gone. Giant thread, just straight up gone. So I can defog in peace. At this point, I feel like I don't even care if they defog. Hello, did my Thunderbolt just cancel itself? Yeah, I feel like I don't even care if they defog, right? Because this guy just kind of wins on its own, doesn't it? Like, doesn't this thing... Oh, never mind. Well, it does win on its own, but now I have hazards up, and now I 100% win. <laughs> Yo! This is supposed to be the King Gambit team, but Iron Valley are putting it in work. The meta kind of feels like with Golden Go, like Dugtrio. I don't know if that makes sense. I don't know, I feel it. I kind of feel it that way. But I could be wrong. Mm, definitely want to see if I can get a T-Spike up in this. We're going to have to use uh, Tauros and stuff to my advantage. Glamora. Great Tusk is so annoying to break. I mean, mine is annoying for them too. And Roaring Moon is really strong too. I just also don't like the Dragapult switchings. This can Gambit. But Terra type am I on this one? I think I am Fairy. Which isn't the greatest here. That... That Tauros is looking like a giant threat. I don't even know if it's defensive or not. Gonna immediately mortal spin. As a shadow ball. And do absolutely nothing to me. No mortal spin again. Oh! Okay. Well, I had no idea what I thought that Dragon Ball. I saw leftovers there. I didn't think it had Draco leftovers. I am very wrong, clearly. Hmm. I mean, I guess I can do this, right? Because I just clicked Shadow Ball here into Golden Go. I mean, this guy's really strong versus them, but yeah, we have a Shadow Ball into Golden Go. It also hits, obviously, Dragapult. Um, they could go Fire Tauros, though, I suppose. This will still do a decent chunk to Tauros. Also, it's not like Tauros technically beats me 1v1. Damn, I got play. I didn't even, like, see its left throw. I'm going to be honest. That was a... That's my boy Jamvad. That was a Jamvad play right there. Didn't even read. <laughs> didn't even read. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of reading though. But um, yeah, 
Shadow Ball just in case they want to go hard. Golden Goal. We'll do like, what, 40 something percent? Oh, Hatterene comes out. I mean, it's going to take super effective damage too. Shoot, I'll take it. Let's go. Anything they want to try and switch in here? I Shadow Ball again. Yeah, because now I can get up stuff. They don't think that Mon's necessary because my Mon's gone, right? So, ah, uh, do I chip them with this and wear them down or is that? No, I think that's, I don't think I kill, if I wear them down, no, I need, I need this Mon. I really need this Mon. We're going to go King Gambit here on the Make It Rain. And then they're going to bring out their Great Tusk. So I'm going to double out to Iron Valiant here. They should go Great Tusk or Ting Lu or Fire Tauros. All of those, all of the above. All of the above. Might as well hit him with my strongest attack. <laughs> go for Protect there. Might as well hit him with my strongest attack. Thunderbolt, right? It doesn't have any recovery. Nice. Get some lovely damage off on Golden Go. I can now knock it out with Shadow Ball next time. If they focus Blast here, I still go King Gambit as they make it rain again. I'm going to go Great Tusk as a decent double to deal with Tauros to knock it off. Definitely knock them off first, I think. Even if they will OS me, that's fine. But Dragapult being on a timer. Yeah, 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 yeah. So now that I got rid of their leftovers, this is good because I can get up Stealth Rock and actually start wearing them down. And that way my Iron Valiant can still kill everything on their team. So we're just basically using King Gambit here defensively to be able to deal with a lot of their team. And I do still have Golden Go on an air balloon, so I should always be able to deal with Great Tusk in a, in a pinch. Maybe they bring out their Ting Lu. They go Dragapult. Ooh. I mean, it is a threat. Oh, don't get me wrong. Flamethrower won't kill King Gambit. Flamethrower will never kill. I don't care if they burn me. I'm going for Iron Head here because I want to hit Great Tusk for some decent damage. Yep, that was some decent damage. Let's go. Chip. My own Great Tusk is the play. Yeah. Did I think I'd make the Golden Go play? Let's see if they knock. Okay, they wrap. It's been perfect. Now we just make it rain. I believe. I believe make it rain is the play. Or do I nasty plot into make it rain? I haven't even teared yet. Hmm. No, they cannot let me sack this. They can't sack this because I have Roaring Moon. And I will smack them with Roaring Moon. Let me just make it rain anyway. They have no switchings. Yeah, so this guy's going to take way too much damage. Perfect. All right, so that's in Moonblast range later, which is great. Free Great Tusk, Raging Bull, going to knock off, hopefully Great Tusk Leftovers, doesn't matter about what they want to do here because I have Leftovers, the Raging Bull is only going to do 14%, right, so i much rather knock off an item on Great Tusk so it doesn't get recovery, uh, on Ting Lu so it doesn't have recovery as well, okay, killer, I mean, if you want to give me this, I'll take it, shoot, no Intimidate, one of the Mons you need in my opinion, Hell yeah, we'll take that. Rapid Spin, Stealth Rock, Pine Knock Off. Could be Body Press. Dragapult comes out to try and give me no switchings. I'm gonna go King Gambit though because I do have a switching and it's King Gambit. <laughs> I love using this Mon defensively. They don't kill me now with Flamethrower still, so I'm still going for Iron Heads every single time. Perfect. Always going Golden Go anyway. They do go for knockoff. That's max attack. That's hella max attack, right? 51 to max HP is crazy. Well, this kind of worked out. I got rid of, I get rid of leftovers on something. And if it's Ting Lu, that's good too. So I'll take it. So they obviously... Don't expect to be faster than my Golden Go, which is very important. Also, uh, they switched first, which means they are faster than my Golden Go. <laughs> they, 
They are definitely faster than my Golden Go. However, my Sucker Puncher is looking really clean here. My Sucker Puncher is looking clean. Gonna Moonblast immediately. I would love to CC here, but I can't make that risk. It could Focus Blast a trick. We're gonna go Golden Go. They'll eat to make it rain as well, but I think they Focus Blast a trick or recover. Oof. Wait a second. Wait a second. Is that Scarf Recover trick? Anyway, U turns my play, but. Get my U turn off, go my Iron Valiant. There we go. Moonblast again into Golden Go. This game about to be hella close, bro. Always U turn to keep up momentum because U turn guarantees a kill. Actually, I should have switched. I should have hard switched with Morning Moon because I knew they were going to switch and they would have let me see if there was Scarf. And I probably already had that information from before, but I just wasn't paying attention. I'll be completely honest there. Hmm. Force to go you. Shadow Ball don't kill me though from Dragapult. You're going to make it rain? They make it rain there. If they double make it rain, great play. But I'm still going Iron Valiant. Actually, do I need to make this play? Can I just click Iron Head? The more sacks I have, the better. The more sacks I have, the better. So, yeah, let me make this play. I'm going to be a little bit more aggressive. Especially because they know what they're doing. So this is a guaranteed kill on something, right? I mean, they could... They haven't terrored yet. Mmm, don't think that's the end of the world, actually. What's my Terra type on Golden Go? It's freaking flying. It's fairy. That might be the end of the world. Earthquake is going to hurt. Don't really care about the rocks being gone. I'm trying to think what I need to win. I think my Golden Go goes down. Does it? Do I even die here? Yeah, what am I saying? I'm faster. They're super bulky. What? If, yeah, like what? Yeah. You ain't, you ain't fooling me, mister. <laughs> you ain't fooling me, mister. <laughs> well, now I get a kill with Crunch. We're good. Just sack you. Bring out you and Sucker. Oof, they got me. Sucker still kills though. No, they super got me. Did I just throw? Terra Dark, Draco. I might have just thrown. No, I just threw. No. Actually, I didn't. Yes, I definitely threw. Regular poison. I could dodge. Damn it, I threw. Unless this is not Scarf this whole time. Ah, I threw. No! My thought process was if I sucker kill them, they can't kill all three of my Pokemon, so they wouldn't let me do that. But I've lost the end game. Good game. Damn it, I threw. Out oh, of choke. Ah, well, was it? Like if I sucker kill them, if they switch, they get a kill. And then I couldn't do it. Ah, man. No. <laughs> no. Ah, that sucks. All right, I'll get another game. I played that game so fire, too. Damn it. I really did. My opponent's team looks like something I use like in the beginning of the generation. I'll be completely honest. I like it, though. Get up, my spike. You get up, T-Spike, for me. We'll be in a good spot. Looks like my uh, my king looked kind of nasty here. Just get them all up. I mean, I didn't think they'd earthquake. I didn't think they would not earthquake, basically. So I'm going to die by going for mortal spin. But 
I get the poison on them, which is cool. Um, time to bring out the young goat. Shadow Ball Raw. No! Now I just made a play just to make it. I guess they think they don't switch into this, but I mean, this Mon is the only... What stops King Gambit on the team? Literally, what stops King Gambit? I'm trying to see it. What actually stops King Gambit? Straight up nothing. Dragon Ball comes hard out. Mm, very big threat for my team either way. Just knock off again. Oh, it's physical. Perfect. Doesn't even have a good attack. What really stops King Gambit though? It looks like it just wins. It literally looks like it just wins. This is the King Gambit game. That's the hella King Gambit game. Could have obviously killed them, but didn't think they stay in there. Bring out you. Earthquake to get my kill. <sighs> no. We are... Eh, I still think King Gambit wins. I very much still think King Gambit wins. Especially because the entire team has died. They say your sword. They're gonna take a billion from this attack. Ah! And they got the defense drop! No! Wait, it's Boots? Freaking Ditto? Are you kidding me? Good game. I got crushed by that. Boots ditto. Holy crap. All right, one more. One more. We're on tilt now. We're on tilt. We tilting after that. We got to get one more. Which could turn into 17 more. But to be honest, who knows? Who really knows? Me? No. You? Yes. Dude, Boots ditto is crazy. It's really interesting, actually. Comes in a lot. A lot easier. Nice little soft check to a lot of Pokemon. I kind of like it. All right. This is In this situation, I already know what I do. We forgo... The later Terra. I would rather them hit me and get and I get a toxic spike, so I think this is my play. Shadow Ball is free versus me. We're gonna go Roaring Moon as they crit me with make it rain. Come on, bro. <laughs> oh well. Bring out Great Tusk here. And Rapid Spin. That's so whack. <laughs> Why? Why did I get crit? But yeah, we rapid spin on their own Great Tusk. If they stay to make it rain, I still guarantee I should guarantee get a rapid spin off. Hmm. Whatever. I'll forgo this to get up rocks. Bring out my King Gambit. SD the hell up. Smash something on their team. The team has fallen, so. Yeah, go ahead and give me that. Your team has fallen. No. This is very annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I kept some of them, but like, damn was that annoying. I'm still plus two with a fallen member, so I get a little boost there. Attack raise into me. I think we need to keep you alive, actually. Insane SD. But they can't drain punch me, which is very important. So, I get up my T-Spike as well. I still have King Gambit to help me kill these guys. Wild SD, bro. Moonblast. Knock this out. Shadow Ball. Golden Go. It's not going to kill. But maybe they... Oh, they tear a normal there. Alright. Shoot, I'll take it. Let's SD up again. <laughs> Especially if these guys are not boots, right? Let's just assume they're not boots. Yeah. If we assume they're not boots, 
everything on their team will die. Everything on their team will die to King Gambit. So you die. That's throw out of there. Don't gotta worry about Chiyu sweeping me. Which is nice. Ironhead you. You die. <laughs> I told you everything will die to this demon. Champa comes out. You die. Oh, they didn't die! But I'm max HP, I'm max HP, so. I am, I, I'm max HP, so I should always live their hit and then knock them out and make it rain, provided they don't crit me. Yeah, all right. We we managed to get one win out of tilt. We're gonna end it on that, cause like, that's not, whew, that was, that was, the throw into loss on a fort. <laughs> you hate to see it. I hope y'all enjoyed though. Definitely a fun live, by the way. I can see why the team is good. I think it definitely is a lot, uh, I definitely need to play with it more. Because I don't have the right, I think, uh, sequences versus, like, Great Tusk as well as um, Golden Goal. But I think you get that from playing. But I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like, subscribe. We'll get a Wi-Fi battle up later today. Peace.